Hello everyone, welcome to a unconventional video on the channel. I know I say that a lot because I do a lot of experimental videos. Not a lot, but I do a few uh, every once in a while. And today we're actually going to be doing a shiny showcase, which is something I really want to do on this channel. Uh, I do have a lot of shinies, and we won't be looking at all of them today just because of Pokebang messing up and stuff, and that'll probably be like a 40 minute video. I'm not interested in editing that, so um, we're just going to do a bit of a quick video. This is going to be showcasing my most recent shinies, and I'll talk about each of them. And uh, These are all the shinies that I've gotten in Ultra Moon, which I do have the shiny trauma. It was really hard to get that. I, uh, I got the majority of the Pokemon myself, which was really um, exciting, and I, it was sort of like a thing I did when I wasn't making videos, which was pretty fun. I, I enjoy playing Pokemon a lot, but uh, let's just jump right into it with the first Pokemon we got, um, which was a... Baneri, which I got the day after I got the Shiny Charm, which I got the Shiny Charm late at night, so it was like in the morning, and it was really cool. Um, I named the Baneri Nesquik, which I think is a really good nickname, and um, it was really exciting getting it, and I, it happened fairly quickly, so it was really awesome. So, um, on the same day that I got the, the Baneri, I got a uh, Cthulhu, my Inke, and it was really cool that I got two Shinies on the day I got my, uh, well basically the day I got my Shiny Charm. So that was really awesome. Um, it has a really good shiny. You know, I didn't really think it had a very good shiny, but I just I just wanted to uh, do some basic hunts at first to test out my shiny charm to see what I could do, and to hunt some of the Pokemon that you couldn't get in uh, Pokemon Moon and Sun, uh, the original games. Uh, next we have uh, Mona Lisa, which is kind of weird that uh, you can't in when you're naming a Pokemon in the newer games you can't put Mona Lisa separate without a space in between for some reason I don't know if it's maybe Mona that messes it up like moan I, I honestly don't know what the the reasoning behind it though is but um she is she's she's a great painter I love that shiny it looks great I haven't had a shiny Smeargle before so it's really exciting uh, this one actually took quite a while it was longer than I expected but in the end, it was definitely, definitely worth it, and I'm glad that I did it. Um, it actually has a really good um, sort of nature. I don't know if the nature is really good, but Moody is kind of interesting that it has uh, that, because I'm pretty sure that's a hidden ability, which isn't super rare when you're SOSing. Uh, by the way, all of these Pokemon I got yeah, with SOS method, so... Then we have Morgan, and Morgan, uh, this hunt took literally forever. It was ages. Um, I believe I have the exact count somewhere, but I'm pretty sure it's like 700 encounters, which is like, usually SOS hunts with a shiny charm take like 100 encounters at most. And, well, not at most, like usually 150 is like, you usually get your shiny, but I, I got this in 700, and I'm glad I stuck through, because I really do like uh, the shiny. I named it Morgan off of uh, the Darkstalkers character, even though it's not female, I was hoping for a female, but um, it, it's really nice, I love the, I love the, the sort of cyan -y blue color. It's very nice, especially with that black. Very good shiny. I'm glad I got it. Then we have Sirius, and this is actually not the first shiny Zoro I have. I actually have another one that I caught in uh, Oris, which is where I got majority of my shinies. You'll probably see that in a later video. But, um, I, I SOS for this one, and this happened in, like, 30 encounters. It was really quick, and, um, I was just doing it because I had nothing else to do for really, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I like the, the colors on it. Um, the blue is really nice. It really brings out its... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not really into color theory, but I think it looks really, really good. Really good. Then we have Mrs. Trash. Oh, wait. Let me... Uh, <laughs> let's talk about Sirius again. So Sirius, uh, if you don't know the nickname, actually comes from Sirius Black. Is, this, is it just Black? I think it's like... Yeah. I think it's Sirius Black from... Harry Potter. Uh, he's like his mentor, sort of uncle character kind of thing going on. Um, but I think it's just cool because they have the last name Black, so uh, there's no like symbolic reason behind it. Then we have Mrs. Trash, and you may think, oh, that's just a normal Grimer. It's purple. No, it's an Alolan Grimer, which they are usually green. So they, they have their shinies and their regular color swap, which I think is really cool. And I do want to get another um, a regular Grimer shiny because I think that would be real sick but um yeah this one's cool it has a decent nature um I named her Mrs. Trash because she's literally like a pile of sludge and garbage and I didn't have a better name if you have a better name uh feel free to suggest it because I'm, I'm I'm honestly open to, to changing it because it's not my favorite um one that I've gotten out of the uh 
the few. So let's see who we have now. Oh, that's my that's my Trevenant that I used to shiny hunt. No, actually, let's talk about my team that I used to shiny hunt. This is a little getting off topic, but I have uh, Danny the Trevenant, who is Ghost Grass, which is pretty good, and has Trick and Skill Swaps. So basically, I place a Lepa Berry on Danny, and then I go for Skill Swap, and that gives them the ability Harvest. Then I trick them to give them the Lepa Berry. Basically, what that does is that lets them never run out of PP because they'll constantly get a Lepa Berry. They'll eat it, get PP, and then harvest another one so they'll have it for when they run out of PP again. So that's really useful. Um, then I have this Braylon, which I use for Pokemon for poison hunts because if you find poison, then I get poison heal, which is really nice. Um, we have my Ampharos which I use for uh, Thunder Wave. Uh, Lucas, which is my Lucario, um, which basically just has good moves, so it's good to keep around. Then we have Quelidora. Quelidora. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's French. Um, and it's my, my smear goal. It's basically perfect. And it has... Um, so basically, the first slot is Fall Swipe, which that gets it down to 1 HP, which is really good. Then it has Recycle, which is how I get back my Lepa Berry each time. And then it has Milk Drink, which is good for um, healing. And then uh, it has a, a Move Slot, which I usually change out for whatever hunt I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> and then we have Hedwig, which is my uh, Decidui, which has, um, uh, it has Fall Swipe, which is good. And it's just a nice little one to keep around. Uh, and the final shiny that I have is Watts, uh, which I actually already have a shiny grub in, so I have two of them now, um, which I don't mind getting uh, duplicate shinies, because I think a shiny is a shiny, and I think it's really fun to, to hunt stuff either way. And um, I got this one most recently, I actually don't know the exact date, but it was really fun. I'm glad that I hunted it, and it's kind of cool that it looks like an actual grub. Um, but anyway, I think this is a good time to end the video. Uh, I will be doing another another shiny uh, shiny showcase um which will probably be with all my shinies and if there's any other videos that you want to see me record using uh, uh my 3ds i'd love to do it um it's sort of difficult to play like um, games while recording with the current setup i have but i haven't really tweaked it very much it's just very basic um it's just to record this video and maybe another shiny show uh, show shiny showcase it's really hard to say but um Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, remember to leave some love down below. That includes subscribing, liking, commenting, any of those things. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm AR the Axolotl. Bye-bye.